What are you doing to your car, babe? No anti-freeze. And a dookie in the overflow that looks like oil. Sort of, right? Yeah, dookie oil. Nasty, nasty, rusty sh crap. It wasn't antifreeze, I'll tell you that. So we gotta fix Ida's car and order a new fender. I'll call up there today and get a price on that. Oh, look at that, babe. Look at your motor mount. It's starting to dry rot. I'm gonna have to replace that. It's just a dog bone, luckily. There's the other part of it right there sideways. I don't know what that one looks like in there. Get an alternator. New alternator soon. It smells bad. Some kind of fire or something. Wow, look at the lights on awesome. Oh, they're up on the roof. Oh, it's a chimney fire. They're up on the roof. Oh, shit. Well, I guess what we're going to do today is flush out Ida's radiator, seeing that it's got a lot of black crap in it. Look at that color of it. Nasty. We cleaned her overflow jug out, which had a lot of crap in it yesterday. And today you really can't see the color of it here, but it's like brown. No good. So we're going to flush that baby out with some new antifreeze in it. So luckily, on the center of these radiators down here, where is it? Anyways, right down in the center is your uh, pet cock. Open that baby up, find a pan, and drain it out. This is what Ida's going to do. So, we got one of our old hoses that was run over and crushed and bought a new one for it. And connected it to the house. The other end was uh, crushed, so we just cut that off. And we're just going to use that to flush that baby out and turn the heater on and everything to flush the heater core, radiator, lines, thermostat, everything out out at once. Probably not as thorough as Dave does his heater core at Dave's farm, but this will get her done. Alright, to make the job official, we got our catch pan and our extra jug to put it in when we get done. Next we'll throw it in the car because it's a little windy, we don't want it to blow away. And we'll get all out here to crack that pack cock open and get it draining. Down in there we're coming out. Walk around and check your uh, temperature, make sure the car's not getting hot. Is it coming out clean yet? Just a little bit more. Oh, there you go, the rust. See it? Yeah, let it come out of the motor. Pumping it out of the motor right now. Everything is in the block. Uh, all the rusty Look stuff that was in the block is coming out now. I stopped putting water in the radiator. The thermostat opened up. So everything that's coming out now is emptying the block out. Look at the nasty, rusty Ooh. stuff. That's everything was in there. Nasty, huh? It's all brown. I'm gonna feed some in. Holy 
Temperature. Yeah. Uh, it's doing good. It's still half. About half. Yeah. All right. Still pumping out nasty shit out of the rate out of the motor. Yeah. Flush it out a couple more times here with straight water. Still got to flush out the heater. Turn the heater on. Cold blast too. Sorry, I wanted to flush it out real quick. Get some more in the water in there. I don't want to get the camera a while. Here you go. Alright, let me see how much comes out. Dirty. Wow, it's clean. Yeah. It's too clean. Coming out of the block and spitting it out clean. It's a tin of a nasty color at the end there. Yep. We'll flush it out one more time. Yep. Yep. That's because you just turned the heater on. It's coming out of the heater core. It's emptying the heater core out now. Put some back in it. It says it's full, but I don't believe it because the motor ain't filled yet. So, let's start it up. And fill it up. Start it up. All them geese up there. All them Canadian geese, they think I'll confuse a couple warm days. All done. Ah, there's a million of them up there. Still some behind me and stuff. That's just some of them. <laughs> oh, they're all landing out here in the field. That's what they're doing. There's a bunch of them coming in for landing. They're all out in the cornfield. Whole bunch of them. See if we can get a video of them all out there. 